The hustle and bustle at Chorsu Bazaar. It's a market that fulfills daily necessities in Tashkent and also is a display of Uzbekistan's cultural identity. Even if you don't buy anything at the Chorsu Bazaar, the vendors will encourage you to try some dry fruits. They're proud of what they're selling, and dry fruits are also major export products to China. Walnuts, dried apricots, and raisins. Uzbekistan exporters sell large quantities of dried fruits to China to meet the growing demand. Uzbekistan export Shipping by train can take about two weeks. In China's Zhengzhou, almost half of its China-Europe freight trains go to Central Asia. Due to the rising trade volume, exporters have to compete for space. This container yard in central China is filled with goods. There's one train carrying some 50 containers to Tashkent almost every other day. Home appliances and raw materials are the major export products from China to Uzbekistan. The cargo senders and receivers choose freight trains based on efficiency and price. 往中亚那边发的话，首先海运没有很大的优势，因为那边它都是内陆嘛，没有港口，所以铁路就会有这个天然的优势。然后比如说我们从新疆出去到中亚这五国就很近。A train network connecting Central China and Central Asia. Zhao Yunfei, CGTN.